For this video, I'll show you how to create a custom toggle switch and share with you a technique you can use to create any toggle switch look and behavior by showing you three examples as well as few interaction animation using transitions only. I have here three div tags with toggle switch class and add a classes of one, two, and three to differentiate them. On the CSS, I have a body style intended to center all elements on the right side you see here. And on the JavaScript side, I simply have a query to grab all these toggle switches, then iterate through them, adding a click event, which simply toggle the active class on them using class list toggle. First, let's style the switches, and I'll make them inline block first and make them 55 by 30 with a light gray background, and I'll add margin to space them. Then I'll curve their corners with border radius of 50 pixels so they look like pills and position them relative so I can absolute position their children elements and a pointer cursor, of course. For this, I'll use a before and after pseudo elements, which is CSS way to add elements on the DOM on the fly. But feel free to change this to a span tags, for example. I'll add common style to them so both has no content and are positioned absolute 5 pixels from the top. And I'll make them dark gray and 20 by 20 since the toggle itself is 30 pixels high. And if I want 5 pixels gap on the top and bottom, this need to be 20 by 20. Finally, since width and height are the same, I can just add border radius of 50% to make them round. Let's work with the first switch toggle. I'll position the first circle 5 pixels from the left and make it green and then position the second circle 5 pixels from the right. Since all toggles start by being off, I'll make the first one opacity of 0 and scale transform it to 0 to shrink it. The effect I want to create is as you toggle switch this, circles shrink and fade in and out so when the toggle receives the active class, I'll make the circles back to opacity 1 which is 100% and scale transform it to 1 which is also 100%, pretty much as normal size. And I will do the opposite for the second circle which is scale it down to 0 to hide it with opacity of 0. If we try this, we see the switch, but because everything is happening at a normal speed, we do not see what's happening in details. And because I have two states, I can use transitions to slow things down a little. And for both, I want to transition the opacity and transform since only those two things change. And if we try now, it works nicely. Now to the second switch, I do not need a second circle. And since it starts by being off, I'll position the first circle to the right. So if the circle is 20 by 20 and I want 5 pixels gap on the right, that's total of 25 pixels. So I subtract that from the parent width, which is 55 pixels, and I am left with 30. So I'll position it 30 pixels from the left. And when it receives the active class, I position it back to 5 pixels from the left and make it green again. The reason I use only the left here is so I can easily transition this left value for an animation effect. So I copy the transitions over and change it to left and background color since only those two values change when active and we get a traditional switch toggle effect. Pretty nice. For the final toggle, I'd want to do something different. So I start by removing background on both circles and make the color same as the parent and center things with display flex. And then I'll give them content. For the first, I'll make it say on, and the second, I'll make it say off. Then I'll position the second circle on the right and the first on the left. And I will also change the font and its size so it's much better looking. And with that, I'll temporarily hide them with display none. That way I can work on a second part, which is the background. So I start off by giving a linear gradient to the toggle switch and 90 degree, which is same as left to right with three color stop. But I don't want the colors to fade into each other. So I'll make three hard stops. Uh, I'll make the first color green 33.333%, which is a third of the whole thing. And the second color 66.666%, which is two thirds. And in between, I repeat gray with zero. I'll also add zero for the last color. So that way the colors do not fade into each other. And we have a hard stop like that. Now I want to position this background at zero X and Y and make it 100% width and height with no repeat. And width is actually the default, but what I want to do is make it 150% width so you only see two colors at a time, like this. And I can control the color shows with position. So if I make X 100%, I get to see gray and black. And at 0%, I see green and gray. I incrementally change the X position here so you see the effect I want to create. Now, when it's active, I'll make it a background position at 0, 0, so you see green. And if I click here, you see the toggle happening. And all we need now is a smooth transition to stop it off. 
I'll add that just for the background position since it is only thing changing and we see this happening nicely. So let's bring the labels now by removing the display none and we see them in place nicely. And what I can do is make them the same color as this gray. So you only see one label at a time like that. Now you know how to create your own toggle switch and the goal was to make you understand the mechanics and teach you a little more of transition so you can create your own stuff. Join the Before Semicolon community by following the Twitter and Instagram page where I post code quiz, tips and tricks and announce videos like this. Like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.